What are you doing, son? Look at that. Look at that face. Look at it. Don't fall off. Here, I'll help you. Look at that face. Oh my goodness, you're so shy. Look at you. Can't even take it. Oh, he spun too far. He spun too far. Anyway. What's up, everybody? Guess who's at the house? Say hi, Richard. Hey. <laughs> Richard's in town for a visit. Finally. Got to be able to get around. Anyway, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, so, you know me, I go around and find crap on the side of the road. And one of those things I found on the side of the road was this fairly decent speaker. Um, I ripped the emblem off the front. It used to say energy, but it ripped my finger open, and that was no more happening. So I ripped the emblem off. But if you'd like to know a little bit more about it, um, it's called Energy Power Bar Elite. Well, here's the thing. Um, I hate throwing stuff away that works, and apparently either this was broke or the other part of the system was broke. My guess is that the bar was broke, or maybe the guy person, whoever, just didn't want this thing. I don't know. But I uh, I picked it up, and I decided to take it apart, me and the kiddos. Hi, Dexter. Hi. Dexter actually took it apart with uh, Elijah, took the back off. And we looked at it, and it's a wireless Bluetooth or Wi-Fi whatever device that connects to the sound bar. But you have to have the bar to make it work. So with with this by itself, it's useless. It has no audio input. It's just a piece of trash, which is horrible. I think that's terrible. So, I took it apart, and you've got the power supply here. I should be careful because it's still plugged in. And you've got the amplifier board, and then you've got this little transceiver. Uh, I don't actually know what this is, but there's a button on the back that says uh, f uh, factory use only. And I was like, huh, okay, so look that well. This little adapter right here is plugged onto that socket. And what is this little adapter? Well, let's look at it. Focus, focus. There we go. What is this thing? I don't. What I don't. Anyway, I don't think it's in. Let me check. Uh, let's put it on AI Plus. Okay. Anyway, so this is a wireless audio module. Uh, it's a model number SWA91RXA. Well, guess what? We can look that guy up. I know nothing about this. This is like probably not off-the-shelf components. Maybe the power supply. These are probably custom-made. And this is the only thing we could have some hope about. So I looked it up. There happens to be 24 pins on this adapter board. And guess what? There they are, all 24 pins. Now, this, I looked it up. And if we go up here to the top, it says it is a right there it's a uh, low latency point-to-point -point transport of uncompressed mono PCM audio data at 16 uh, bit 48 kilohertz resolution using either analog or digital analog or digital there's the key words so there could be a way to connect to this if you had the right way to transfer stuff to it but in my opinion that wasn't worth my effort and time because I don't think that would be as easy. You may have to like actually set it up, communicate it, get it to program and link up correctly and just, ah, I just didn't want to try. So, down here on all these data pins, there's the module. Right here I found analog output and analog input. Okay, right there. Analog output ground and analog input. All right, the other ones are not connected for the input because this is the receiver module. There, there's an RXTX and there's a RXA module, so I'm not sure exactly what the difference is, but I looked at the circuit and I got this too tight to show you, but um, there are how many wires? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven wires on there? And let's see if I can get you the proper... No, it's got to be this way for you to see it correctly. Where's it at? Oh, my wires are in the way. Right there. Ground, V positive, STB link, ground mode, and out plus. Actually a very weird way to label things. So I decided, you know what, let's just see if the audio anal analog makes sense. So I traced out the analog pins, and they go through this capacitor, through a little filter, and it's exactly what you'd see on an analog input. So I thought, good news, it's probably not digital, it's probably analog. So I started there. 
And then I thought, well, I'm sure this thing needs to be linked before the power comes on. So if we turn it on, the, there's a light here. It's red or blue. And of course it was red. And so I'm like, well, we got to figure out a way to trick this thing to think it's on. Or think that it's linked, basically. So back here, there are three wires. Uh, let's see, that was V+, plus, STB, and LINK. Those three wires I shorted together, uh, one at a time. So the, the LINK, no, the STB and the V+, plus turned on the blue light, but then nothing else happened. And then the LINK turned on the audio channel. So now that those three are linked, working, the other wire I just left it hang, it does nothing. And there's another one down there that does nothing. I'm going to tape those up so they don't short against anything. Okay. And, uh, yeah, after playing with this for a while, Dex was in here helping me and we figured it out, didn't we? Yeah. We figured out that once we got that enabled, pretended like the link was connected, the audio input, we tied it directly into where the audio input or and or output is of this guy, straight up to the output on there, and voila, everything's happy. So now, I literally had this old adapter that was mono, two mono outs to uh, a stereo jack, right? So this is just a jack like that. And I took the old board that was right here, and I just put one screw back in it, slant, put it back in there at, a, at an angle. And then I plugged that into, uh, into this phone, in this case. So, play some skillet, check it out. So, we uh, success successfully put a audio jack in a what was a piece of trash speaker without the other part of it because unless you can find a link that links up to this exactly, you're toast. So anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you that, you know, with a little bit of time, how much time do we spend on this? Uh, like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe an hour and a half. Yeah. That's probably about all we spent on this. Yeah. So within an hour and a half, a little research, a little dedication, we managed to save this poor little subwoofer, which I'm an audio guy, right? I love my audio. So now we gotta have, this is a big old speaker, it's about a 10 inch subwoofer. It's not a little guy. Um, so now we can use this with any mono input as a subwoofer. So anyway, I've uh, been working on the bike, doing stuff, Richard's here, we've been doing stuff, and I haven't had time to do a whole lot, so I figured, hey, you know what, let's just make a little video about how to save old electronics, such as this. There are ways to just get in there, poke around, see what you can come up with. You're not going to hurt anything if you blow it up, because it was trash in the first place. Just start figuring it out. Now, if you ever wanted to try this on your own, I recommend taking like a 10K ohm resistor and shorting wires out like this until you can figure out which pins need to be enabled and, wh and whether it's ground or positive. I always short them to ground first, then I take the positive and short it to uh, the, the wires that I think need to be enabled or whatever. But uh, luckily this board enables the power supply and then these two links, one is to turn on the amplifier and one is to enable the audio output. And there we go. So we're going to put this back together so we can play with it. Yeah. We might even just do some other fun stuff with it. Kind of like we did with our, uh, what do we do? Ooblick down there? Yeah. Our Ooblick speaker is still down there. We should do some more of that. Yeah, we that found We found a, uh, a plastic speaker because our paper speaker, like, melted. Yeah. It was a bad deal. So anyway, it didn't melt, but the water ruined it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, in case you're curious, let's look a little bit closer at the... Model number here just says model energy power TM bar elite, and it is a uh, energy power bar elite. So there you go, trying to save uh, the stuff from going to the trash. I hate seeing stuff go to the trash, especially when uh, it's an audio object. I love my audio. Anything to say? Bye. Bye. Peace and love. God bless. Read the Bible more. See you later.